Well, in case you missed it, the Biden administration will restart the Trump era remain in Mexico policy. Now, the program will initially start back up at one border location on Monday and will eventually include entry points at cities like Laredo, El Paso and Brownsville. Now, Biden had ended the program when he took office this year, calling it inhumane. The administration has said it still intends to end the program eventually. And President Biden laid out new actions to tackle the Omicron variant. They include stricter COVID testing requirements for international air travelers and extending mass mandates on public transportation. Everyone, including those who are vaccinated, must now get tested for COVID a day before departing for the U.S. Hell launched family vaccination clinics and will require health insurers to cover the costs of at-home COVID tests and continues to encourage Americans to get vaccinated. We're calling on pharmacies and they've been cooperative, big and small, to offer more appointments, more walk-in hours, including on weeknights. And the administration saying 2.2 million doses of vaccines were administered today, the highest number since May. And Tesla's, Tesla's headquarters is now officially in Texas. The electric automaker is now calling Austin home. Elon Musk announced the move back in October, but official documents show the company's corporate headquarters have relocated to the same billion dollar manufacturing facility being built in southeastern Travis County. And today marks 20 years since the collapse of Enron. Its stocks fell from $90 a share to 26 cents in just a few months. The Houston-based company got its start in 1985 when Houston Natural Gas merged with InterNorth. But in 2001, its use of questionable accounting practices caught up with the company. 29,000 employees lost their retirement plans. 22 people were convicted on charges relating to their actions at Enron.